I'm gonna end up falling in this dang thing. Well, I'm about two minutes into a hike and I'm already tired. I am uh, up here in the mountains. Uh, it's beautiful out, should be a great trip. I just parked, uh, there's nobody in the parking lot. I was the only one, so that's always a good sign. We're gonna hike uh, two or three miles to a lake or two, find somewhere to set up camp for a day or two and uh, relax. So uh, hopefully I stay alone up here. I, uh, I like it that way. This is such a beautiful forest. This has been a great walk. I am uh, really enjoying this. I am looking forward to getting there. So, so we're gonna keep walking. I have made it to what I'm gonna call camp. This is a beautiful, beautiful campsite. There's a, uh, I'm kinda right in between the middle of two lakes. The main lake, the bigger lake that's right below me, there's a huge, big, incredible campsite there. I've actually never stayed there because I prefer more of the uh, kind of the pr primitive uh, secluded sites. And this is certainly one of them. This is the second time I've been here. Uh, my friend Jason, Haggard Wilderness, uh, he and I came here, it's probably been three or four years ago and we got skunked fishing. And the lake that's uh, right through the trees there, you can't see it, it actually does have really big cutthroat. And I've been wanting to uh, come back ever since and give it a go. So I've got two lakes uh, kind of in my immediate proximity to fish from. And uh, we're going to get set up camp and we're going to go fishing. This lake is uh, the one right next to me. It's a challenging lake. So hopefully we can catch a fish or two and I'm probably going to be here for uh, at least one night, maybe even two. It is supposed to get really windy, I think, tomorrow. Uh, anyways, we're going to eat some food, set up camp, and uh, we'll be down on the water soon. So this is the lake right below my camp, and it is, it is full, which isn't a surprise given the record-breaking snow year we've had. I've never seen this lake this full. Uh, typically I used to stand out on uh, rocks out here and fish, and uh, that's certainly not gonna happen. I'm gonna try and walk over here, or I might just have to go over to the other side, uh, the other side of the lake, or down to the other lake, and figure something out. But we're gonna get a line in the water shortly as soon as I find a, a safe place to stand. Well, I am down at the other lake. That lake right next to me is such a challenging lake. Uh, I did uh, I did hook up once. Uh, unfortunately, I thought it was a rock, and uh, but when I realized it was a fish, it was too late. But I uh, walked five minutes down to the lower lake, and we're gonna try this little area out right here. I got a little sidetracked for about 30 minutes. I have heard a dog bark twice uh, over in here, and I'm pretty familiar with the area. I know where all the campsites are. I was the only one in the parking lot, however. There are more than one way to get here, and somebody could have came up after me. But, uh, yeah, I thought there might be a lost dog up here, so I've been trying to look for it, and uh, I haven't had any luck, so I hope that's not the case. But we're going fishing again. Finally. I've missed so many strikes. Now we gotta get it through the weeds. Whew, it's got some fight. There we go. Oh boy. Yeah, that is my first fish in the new net. Beautiful fish. Um, that is the first fish I've got in this net. Brand new net. Beautiful fish. So there's a fish jumping right over here, eating off the surface. And uh, we're gonna try and catch it. 
probably about time I put a dry fly on. A lot of surface activity. Oh! Ay, ay, ay. Bummer. Woo wee, they are aggressive. Not to fall in the water here. It's another pretty fish. Beautiful. Very pretty. It's another another quality fish. It's healthy. That is not a bad fish. Beautiful. Thank you. Yep. These are quality. Well, that's a uh, my third one that might be my fattest one yet oh boy that is a that is a beauty <laughs> uh, I think this can go so it's about a quarter after three and I'm back at my camp I uh, caught a handful of fish the lake by me it's it's a tough one I uh, got one take out of there and I caught three at the other lake. I had one pop off at the net and missed a, missed a few a few strikes, a couple takes, but I'm having a great time. There's still nobody up here. I, uh, I came back because I ran out of water, so I've got uh, some water here, some noon tabs dissolving in there. I got some beef jerky. The wind is uh, starting to pick up. It's actually pretty bad down by the lakes. Uh, this camp right here, that's why I came here specifically, is because it's very protected. Um, I don't feel any of it right now. I hear it, but it's not in camp, which is good later when I want to have a fire. So we're gonna relax and go fishing again later. Finally, just hooked one deep. Uh, I'm at the lake right by camp, and I have struggled at this at this lake in the past. Uh, let's see if we can't get it to the net. Oh yeah, come on, buddy. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Then it does not want to come in and see me. That is a, that is a big, big tiger. I managed to get it without falling in. That is big. It's a heavy tiger. That'd be good for dinner too. Well, it is 8.30 and I am back at camp. After I caught that uh, tiger out of this lake here next to me, I walked down to the other lake. When I got down there, I met a father and a daughter from Phoenix, Arizona. Um, they drove in specifically to come here to kind of get out of the city. And I ended up talking to them and we all fished together for uh, about two hours. Um, so I didn't film any of that, but we all caught a few fish and had a good time. And I'm going to get my dinner cooking, uh, just a peak refuel. And while that gets rehydrated, I'm gonna get a fire going and we're gonna relax and wind down. It's been an awesome day. The weather does show some pretty serious wind coming in tomorrow. So I'll probably, I'll probably hike out tomorrow, but we'll make that decision tomorrow and dinner time. A little home style chicken and rice. I am hungry. Woo, I have got to dry these socks out. Carefully, or I'll be walking home without socks. <laughs> oh, that smells good.
it is so quiet. It's a uh, quarter after 10. It was uh, a really good day, uh, a little bit windy. The big winds are not supposed to come until tomorrow, but uh, no bugs. I saw like four mosquitoes today. There were some flies and some bees, but no mosquitoes. Uh, I wasn't expecting that, so that was nice. I've got John Wick number four uh, and a few other movies downloaded. Oh, and I'm getting a text message. I am going to watch John Wick number four until I fall asleep. I hope I don't watch the whole thing because it's long. I'm pretty tired. It's been a long day and uh, we're going to check out. We'll see you all in the morning. Oh, what a beautiful morning. It is nine. I woke up at about 730, had a cup of coffee and read a book from my tent. I'm out of my tent and now I'm going to have another cup of coffee and then I'm probably going to start picking this stuff up. Uh, I had a really great trip, and uh, yeah, so we're going to have coffee, pick up, go home, and we hope to be back at it soon. <laughs> 